Okay, so uh, this video is about um, a journey um, with Steel Series mice. Um, so we'll start at the beginning. Um, I had an old mouse, uh, which was a Rockat mouse, and it started doing a weird double click thing where you click the button, the left mouse button, and it would register as two clicks. Not all the time, but just sometimes. Um, so I thought it was the mouse. So um, I got rid of that mouse and bought a new one. And I bought the Steel Series Rival 600, which is this one here. And this was um, an excellent mouse. Really, really liked it. The beauty of it is that you've got. Um, very good sensor. The lift off detection is actually pretty cool so that when you lift the mouse off to move it, to adjust it, the pointer doesn't go Bleh. It detects that you've lifted it and holds the pointer still. And that's that's actually really nice. Um, it's got the True Move 3 Plus sensor, which is what that is. So um, yeah, very nice, like that a lot except I had to RMA it and that was because the left button started doing the same thing where you click it and it registers a double click now I've unboxed this mouse before but it comes with two cables one braided one plastic the plastic one is quite thick um, I actually thought that I would like braided ones more than the plastic ones or that I would have a preference um, but more on that later and you get the little box of weights which is very nice indeed because you can attach the weights into a little compartment on the side four four grams on each side so if you like a heavy mouse which I kind of do then that's really good so I love that mouse I was quite disappointed um, to have to RMA it um, but then, we'll get rid of that. But then, they released the new Rival 710. So I thought, I know, I'll RMA the Rival 600 and get the Rival 710. So I paid a little bit extra and got it because they gave me a full refund. And I'm going to clarify this at the end about um, what makes a good company and what doesn't. So with the Rival 710, it's got. Um, very nice tracking uh, and it's got some other stuff which is not quite so impressive as we'll see um, but obviously this one got RMA as well that's why that's in bits uh, to RMA uh, when you RMA something with still serious they don't want you to send the old one back what they do is they ask for proof of destruction which is why I destroy this one in another video um, which basically means yanking off the plastic mouse buttons now this feels a bit different to the other one it's got a removable sensor um, and the cables a bit different with the way it fits in um, but it doesn't have the lift-off sensor and it has a really stupid screen on the side uh, and it's got vibration now for the kind of games I play vibration is utterly and completely useless and for the kind of games anyone plays, having the screen at the side is just stupid. I don't see any point to that at all. I mean, it's quite pretty when you turn it on because it goes Steel Series, and you can you know go on the internet and search for lots of little animated gifs and things to put in there. Um, but really, no. Just knock a fiver off the price. Completely pointless. The actual shape of it is quite nice. It's a little bit different to the other one. Um, it's got a, not the weight's nice, but it's not adjustable. So um, I was not impressed particularly by this, but um, I was staring at the screen a little bit, thinking, "Oh, that's kind of cool." Before I realised that it was stupid. Um, the mouse then had a bit of a hissy fit um, one day and decided to flash, and then would sometimes light up when the power was off on the PC, and sometimes wouldn't. So um, I submitted an RMA for that and 
um, it was accepted and that's why the bias buttons are ripped off because that's proof of destruction you uh, rip the well they give you instructions with the RMA in case you're wondering um, and that's basically to pull off the map buttons and then take a photograph showing the serial number which is under my thumb there and then they verify that and you get your RMA so that got RMA um, this one I think from the unboxing comes with two leads one's braided and one's not so it's very much like the rival 600 in terms of cabling but you don't get the weights so it felt a bit different you don't get the lift off center so that was a bit different as well so overall didn't really like that one um, but it broke anyway so before I really got used to it I didn't really give I didn't have a chance to give it a chance if you see what I mean so that's that one so um, the screen no the vibration no I mean obviously if you think you need it please put it in the comments but I thought it was utterly ridiculous the mouse is more expensive than the rival 600 and I thought it was worse um, so uh, because steel series don't actually give refunds they give credit notes for their store and they just released this one I bought this one the rival 650 wireless it's a slightly bigger box but it is basically the rival 600 so you get the sensor you get the liftoff detection and you get the weights um, it's not in there because I'm using it hooray so you get a bit more in the box because it's got the what the weight box is in there but you also got like a, a sensor a wireless sensor Let's rip it out which is I'm not using because I'm using it cabled so that's the wireless sensor um, which is also in there as well I'll just tear it apart I'm keeping this one it's quite annoying to for the packaging and there's the weights I put all the weights in so I've destroyed that quite nicely that's kind of like an extension thing because it comes with a standard cable and you can plug the sensor into that so I'm not using that so this is basically the same as the rival 650 so you get the dual um, sensor with the true move 3 so you get the same sensor as the rival 600 it's just that um, it's wireless so it's sort of 50 better um, 2.5 gigahertz lag free wireless with fast charge uh, you get the same lift off detection as I've mentioned you get the same weights it's the same mouse as the 600 which is the one I liked uh, except that it's got the wireless bit so it's a more expensive mouse but when I bought it it was on offer so it was actually only cost me a fiver over the rival 710 that I bought as an upgrade so this is the one I'm actually using um, I don't use it as wireless um, but I do really like it <laughs> it is a fantastic mouse the lift off is great have I mentioned lift off enough probably not I'll mention it again the lift off is really good and um, the sensor is really good the weights are really nice this one's slightly heavier than the rival 600 because it's got the wireless bit in it but apart from that it's essentially the same mouse the cable is detachable um, I've got the wireless sensor plugged in but I'm using it on cable when you uh, just to answer a few questions about it that you might think of um, you can do both um, I've got it on the cable the cable it comes with is is a plastic cable but it's actually fine so I was a bit prejudiced towards um, braided as being less flexible but the the rubberized one that it comes with is actually quite nice and it's not really doesn't really it doesn't interfere with the way the mouse moves and if you think it does you can go wireless anyway so uh, yes this is the mouse um, I like um, I have noticed that the left and right buttons make a slightly different clicking sound so maybe they've changed the switch remember this one got RMA because it did the double click um, the rival 710 got RMA because it had a hissy fit and decided to do weird stuff and light up and flash and just generally looked like it wasn't happy um, whether a firmware upgraded that I don't know but this is the real point of, of what I'm saying um, SteelSeries are an absolutely brilliant company when it comes to returns 
nobody quibbled. Um, I described the fault with both of the mouse IRA made, which is the Rival 600 and the 710. I described the fault and they said, yep, we've approved your RMA. Here's some instructions. You need to provide proof of destruction. You don't want, you need to post it back to us. We're not interested. Um, just rip the mouse buttons off, take a photograph showing the serial number, send that over and we'll give you a refund. And in fairness to them, the actual refund voucher arrived um, I think it was slightly before I'd actually sent the photograph away um, or before I got a response from the photograph. So I'm pretty sure they do check to make sure you have destroyed the mouse because they must get a look because they're so free and easy about issuing RMAs um, in that they don't quibble and that they're respectful of, of accurate descriptions. So they must get a lot of people trying it on and that's why they introduced the show the photo thing. Um, so yeah, the Rival 710 is the one I'm, um, I didn't like at all. It's more expensive than the 600. You don't get the weights and you don't get the lift off tracking. You get a daft display and it vibrates. So what were they thinking? Um, but the 650, the brand new one, very nice. And I think they fixed the problem with the double clicking because it makes a slightly different sound. And um, I really like it. And um, just as a bit of a finish off, if I whittle over here, that's it there. So I'm using it cabled. And it goes with my Steel Series keyboard and it matches. And then there's the main. PC doing its thing with all its lights and stuff. Um, the actual number of RMA tickets going backwards and forwards was from the subject of RMAs. Uh, it wasn't that many, about three or four. They bounced back. The response time was well within the time that they state, which is two days. Um, and the fact that they didn't quibble when I described what the problem was almost suggests that they're familiar with it. Um, so yeah, if you're going to buy a mouse, buy a Steel Series one. Because if anything goes wrong, they'll sort it for you. Um, any questions? Um, any comments? Put them in the comments. Um, like and subscribe. That would be nice. If you want to hear more discussions about things, then um, just let me know. Um, as I say, I am using the, the 650. I'm not using it wireless, but I could. Um, it is the most expensive mouse they do, and it's basically the 600 with wireless. So if you're going to buy one, get the 600. If you could think of a reason why the screen is worth having and the vibration is worth having, then please put the comments in. Um, personally, I thought they were pointless on a mouse that was more expensive with less, future, with less features and less future, as it turned out. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for watching and um, see you in a bit. I uh, got a correction and a little added thing that I've thought of since I filmed the first bit. Uh, the correction is the Rival 600 doesn't come with two cables, which is what I suggested. It comes with one super long one, it's about two meters long, it's rubberized, but remember I'm not prejudiced against rubber because it's it's actually doesn't interfere with it. It's not as rigid as perhaps I might have thought. So that takes care of that. The next uh, thing is an additional feature that I didn't mention, which you might be interested in. And this is the reason why you get two cables with the Rival 710. It detaches from underneath. Uh, I think if you've got to think about cables and you've got your rig set up at home, um, you can take this mouse with you to land parties and things without you know, reaching around the back and scrubbing around and disconnecting things. You basically unclip it from the cable and take the other cable with you. Um, now, that's great, but there's actually a really good reason why you do that, because you uh, can use the SteelSeries software to save your gaming profiles to the mouse, and then you use the switch, I think it's that one there, to flick between them. So if you go to LAN parties, or you just like, you know, taking your own mouse with you, you know, like, much like a workman brings their own tools, then 
this will allow you to save your profiles on the mouse take the mouse with you by just unclipping it without having to unravel all your cables and then you plug it back in when you get there now I think that might explain why you've got the vibration and why you've got the screen because when you get to the LAN party everyone goes oh what's that on the side it's a screen you go yeah it is and it vibrates okay now the game so it's kind of a a nice way for still serious to advertise themselves but that's quite you know some people might like that as functionality it depends if, whether you've got a thing about cables or not whether you whether you you know whether you mind scrubbing around the back because some people cable tie everything anyway that's the corrections um any comments any questions um leave them in the comments um like and subscribe and thanks for watching